So, I'm back finally. Hopefully you'll be seeing more of me now. I'm going to try and upload at least a couple times a month if I can. It's been five or six months since I last got out with the camera, so it's time for that to change. It's middle of spring usually would be the ideal time to start looking for insects. But we've had a week of heavy rain, it's very damp outside at the moment. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find some mushrooms instead. As many of you know, that is my preferred subject. So, let's see what I can find. I'm starting my day here in one of my favourite parts of the forest to look for fungi. It's a very shaded, very damp part of the forest. There's a lot of leaf litter, sticks, moss, rotting wood, all the kind of substrates that are perfect for finding mushrooms. Well, the way I usually find a lot of my smaller subjects, especially when it comes to fungi, is I'll just search the floor, I'll look carefully among the sticks and leaves, pick a few things up, see what I can find. Sometimes I'll spend half an hour or an hour just searching through leaves and sticks and barely find anything. Other times you'll find 10, 20 subjects in 10 minutes. It's really just the look of the day and where you are. And I always like to come and check these rotting tree stumps. See there's a couple of tiny snails there. Got this little ladybird hiding in the moss as well. I'd say I'm not really here to photograph things like that today. I don't have my flash with me. I'm working with just natural light. So I'm just going to continue and see if I can find any fungi. There's another little snail there. I'm not really seeing anything on this first tree stump. So I think we'll carry on and head over to the next one and see what's over there. See, I'm not seeing anything here, but I'll get up close because sometimes you'll find some really tiny sort of asco fungi. Sometimes slime moulds, a lot of interest in small stuff, but again, this tree stump's not really giving me much today. Now I'll make way over to this other tree stump, see if this one has any goodies. Well, I think I can see a bit of colour back there. I believe it's a... Oh, I'll bring the camera around so you can see. This bright pink wolf's milk slime mould there. Let's see if I can get a nice shot of that. And I've got the camera set up after a bit of fiddling around with the little flexible tripod. Got the first composition of the day there. So I'll just run this stack. And as you can see, if you've watched my previous photos working with flash, shooting a stack with natural light like this is a lot slower. Sometimes you're working with one second exposures per photo because it's so shady and dark in this part of the forest. Now while I was taking those, I've spotted this wolf spider carrying an egg sack over here. I know I'm not really here for insects and arachnids today, but I don't want to pass up on the chance to get a photo of this. I've just about managed to get the camera in place without scaring it off. I think this is going to be quite a nice photo. I'm pl quite pleased it's sat still for this. Well, that was a relatively successful start in the first location. I'm just going to head over and See what I can find next. Now, I quite often like to check this little fallen tree here. It's starting to get quite aged and rotten now, which is perfect for mushrooms. You can see how mossy it is, which is a good indicator of how damp it gets. I'm not really seeing anything this time. This is usually more of an autumn spot, to be fair. But it's always worth a check. Now we're in probably my favourite spot to come to when it comes to finding fungi and a lot of insects as well. This sort of ancient old growth forest here with a lot of old oak trees, a lot of fallen trees like this. And you can see already there's some fungi growing on here. It's a bit too aged and in an awkward spot for me to bother taking a photo of it. But it's a good indicator that there should be stuff around. So I'll just start searching under the bark of some trees, searching under the leaves. Now look at that, look at that tiny little mushroom on the bark here. And this is why it's worth sitting in one spot for a while, just looking carefully through every little piece of bark and wood and leaves. Now you can see I'm using this fallen tree as a bit of a perch to put the subject on. It allows me to get the tripod at a nice comfortable height. It also allows me to shoot a couple of different angles. Uh, I forgot to put the uh, focus stacking option back on on the camera here, so let me just put that on. Now you can see the first composition of this tiny mushroom there. I'll try a couple of different angles, see what turns out well, but I think this one should be a good one at least. I 
Alright, now we'll go back to looking under some pieces of wood and bark. Let's try this little piece on its own here. Not really seeing anything there. Not even any moss, so this is probably a bit more of a freshly disturbed piece. See what else there is. There's a nice little pile of bark and leaves here. We'll very carefully turn each one over. Well, a few wood lice. I'm also seeing a, quite a few tiny springtails here. The camera won't be able to pick them up, but I'll try and get a photo of one of them if they sit still long enough. I think I just got a pretty nice photo of one of those springtails, so let's see what else I can find now. Oh, there's a lot of wood lice around today. I'm not really looking for those though, I've taken so many photos of wood lice, I'm kind of bored of them. Trying to find some more fungi ideally, and some tiny mushrooms or cup fungi, something like that. I've moved over here, try some of these bigger pieces of wood. Oh, and look at that. See this tiny little yellow cup fungi there, that is exactly what I was hoping to find here. I quite often find cup fungi around here. Just like before, I'm using this fallen tree as a perch to get this in the right spot. See just how tiny the individual little bits of fungi there are. I've got the uh, two times teller converter on top of the 90mm macro to get myself close enough here. So now I just have to find a few different compositions, see what turns out good. Uh, it seems like I've just found another cup fungi as well. You can barely see it through this camera, but it's bright orange and tiny. It's quite well camouflaged against the orange tones of this bark. But I'll perch that here and try and get a couple shots of this as well. Now I'm now running the 90mm teleconverter and extension tubes. So I'm trying to get really close here. I've spotted one of the really tiny cup fungi with what looks like a springtail spermatophore on top of it. Now look at this, while I was taking those photos, this little green weevils came to say hello. Obviously I won't be able to get a shot of that as I've got no flash and it is very active, but it's always nice to see. I think this will be my last location for the day. I've had a pretty successful day given the time of year. So I've just come to this little pine area here. It's a nice different change of habitat to see if there's any different subjects here. I'm just going to search under these pieces of bark. I'm expecting to only really find insects now. I think there's not going to be any fungi around here. But we'll search through each piece of bark, see what I can find. There's usually a few good things here. I'm not having much luck yet. Let's try this piece. Ah, I don't know if you can see this. If I'll zoom in, you might be able to see it better. It's a tiny little springtail hiding in that crevice there. I'll check this out, this nice little orange harvestman on this piece of wood. I didn't film myself finding it, I forgot to run the camera, but there you can see it there. Let's see if I can get a nice photo of it. I think that's me done for the day now. Pretty successful day. I managed to get a couple more springtail photos, but I completely forgot to film any of it. I'll stick them in at the end here and then I think that's time to call it a day. 